In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy a uh, user's group membership from one account to another account. I'm going to show you two examples, one with the AD Pro Toolkit and one with PowerShell. So what I mean exactly is we're going to take, we're going to select a source account. So this account is a member of these groups and I want to copy this user's uh, group membership to another account. So if I go look at this account, it's only a member of one group. So I'm going to take uh, this Amy Delk account, her groups, and I'm going to copy it to this Alva Wood account. So first with the uh, AD Toolkit, just come to Group Management and then copy Group Membership. And we're going to, you can enter the account logon name or you can click Browse to search for the account. So there's the Amy account. I will select that one. And now I'm going to select uh, multiple accounts. So I will browse to the accounts I'm going to copy the group membership to. They are under marketing. So I'll select these two accounts. So next I'll just click run. And you can see the logs here showing you is copy the groups. So now if I come back over, let me refresh this. So now if I look at this Amy or this Alva account, it should be a member of the same groups as my source accounts, which was Amy. And you can see there that it is. So now I'll do the same thing with PowerShell. So let me remove this, the groups from this account. And then you can run a single PowerShell command to do the same thing. So you're going to do get AD user. I'm going to get my source account, Amy Delk, and then we're going to uh, get the member of properties or to expand the member of, and then we're going to pipe that to add group AD group member, and then we're going to pick the uh, destination account, Alva Wood. So I'll run that. And there's, there's no output. Uh, when it's completed. So I'll come back here and refresh this. I will check this account. Number up. And there you go. You can see it's copied the membership from the Amy to the Alba account. Uh, that's it. You can download a free trial of this and try it out. Or you can use the PowerShell command. That's it. Thanks for watching.